Welcome back to Voltard Studios and this episode of Voltard TV. Action packed as always. Yeah, I made it to the Martin game last week and uh, Skyhawks won 40 to 7. Scored on the last play of the game. They're 1 0 in the OBC. And uh, got to play Eastern Kentucky this week, but they're unbeaten in the conference. So they got to go uh, up 20 miles south of the litter box. They'll be going there later in the year. But I want to talk a little bit about this Jeremy Banks thing. You know, people are saying, kick him off the team, and uh, he's bad, bad apple, and all that. I don't see it that way. He's a 19-year-old kid. Um, the video in the police cruiser wasn't very becoming of him, but, uh, you know, it was a, it was a parking ticket that he hadn't paid, and there was a warrant out for him. And uh, he just got done playing on TV, a football game. You know, what, why, what do you have to do an illegal U-turn to get your warrant served on you? I don't know. Of course, it was only a traffic violation, but uh, I was watching that video of him, and uh, I think the kid's just kind of got some uh, growing up to do, maybe some low self-esteem which isn't good when you're trying to win football games, but uh, I like the way Coach Pruitt handled it. And, uh, you know, they they better be ready because the dog turds are coming to town uh, from down there in Athens, Georgia, coming, in, coming to the uh, holy grail of football stadiums instead of that whatever they call it down there where they play, at least we're playing them up here, but uh, everybody knows Georgia's really good this year, and uh, I just am looking for improvement from our team, and you know, they play the games for a reason, it's not a done deal, we can beat them, and I like the way that the offensive line's been getting a little nastier, and uh, if we can get our skill positions together, and Toughen up on that defensive line a little bit. Because that defensive line is going to have a real challenge against that offensive line. Which includes Cade Mays. You know, Cade Mays. Went to the same school as Butch Jones's kids and then decommits. And now the rest is almost... History is unfolding. I mean, the kid's going to probably play on Sundays. And that Georgia offensive line is really outstanding, but... Uh, I I think the Vols can do it. I mean, the chances aren't great, but Vols, keep your head up. Keep playing hard. You know, when, when you play Georgia this week, just make sure that that guy across from you knows that somebody's coming for him every play. And just offensive line, keep playing nasty. You know, a little penalty here and there, no big deal. If you're uh, trying to control the game, and, and, you know, trying to get out of this mold of being a finesse offensive line, which is what uh, the Vols offensive line was called a few years back when Butch was coaching there. Offensive line that's finesse, you know, uh, calling an offensive line a finesse offensive line is code for a weak offensive line. And uh, this offensive line we got now doesn't want to be known that way. I can tell by the way they've been playing. We'll see what happens at quarterback. It is what it is. Uh, this is one of the two toughest games we've got left this year. You know, we're playing uh, two top five teams in the next two weeks. And uh, uh, I'm just saying, go Vols. 